hello friends welcome to my youtube channel technet guide friends in this video i am going to tell you how to configure ssl vpn remote access vpn in fortigate firewall so friends you can see this is my fortigate firewall and this is my inside zone here okay this is my inside lan zone and this is my dmz here dmz zone okay dmz so friends you can see my dmz zone network is 20.1.1.0 okay so we have two device here 20.1.10 and 20.1.12 okay so you can see this is my wan my wan interface ip 192.168.1.101 so this is my pc on internet from this pc we will connect through ssl vpn okay remote access vpn and from this pc will after connect ssl vpn will try to access this device on telnet or such or ping okay so we'll show you now friends we can start ssl vpn configuration on fortigate firewall okay so friends you can see this is my fortigate firewall okay let me show you its interfaces click here network and then click on interfaces okay so you can see this is my wan interface ip address is 1.101 okay port 2 is my LAN port here okay so its ip is 10.1.1.1 okay now in dmg zone we have ip interface ip 20.1.1.1 okay so now friends we can configure here ssl vpn before going to start ssl vpn configuration so we have to create an user here click here to user and authentication now click on user definition now friends click on create new to select local user and then click on next username technet okay now provide password here now click on next now if you want to enable two-factor authentication you can enable this otherwise click on next so now we have to enable this click here enable okay now click on submit okay now friends you can see we have created an user now friends you have to create a group okay we have to click on create new to create a new group ssl group name ssl vpn users now we have to click on firewall and we have to select member here which member you have to define so we have to define here newly created member technet now click on ok so friends in this group you can see we have a user now friends we have to configure vpn here go to vpn and then we have to select on ssl vpn setting just click here you can see enable ssl vpn okay now friends we have to select when interface so you can see when interface port 1 okay port 1 is my when and listen on port number it will be one zero four four you can give anything okay so it will be listen on this port number okay so now server certificate we have to keep it default here 14 fact 14 factory okay we have to select here restrict access allow access from any host or limit access to host okay we can select here allow access from any host okay so friends now now in tunnel mode client setting so you can see tunnel user will be receive ip range 10 dot this ip range okay when user will connect with ssl vpn so this user so ip address range will be this one 10 dot 212 4 dot dot 134 dot 202 210 okay this range will be assigned to this user after connected with ssl vpn okay now dns server same client as system if you have your own dns server so you can define your dns server otherwise you can leave it as it is okay now friends here we have to provide authentication and portal mapping so we have to add our user group here okay just add our user group is ssl vpn user okay now portal so default portal will be full access okay now click on ok okay now also we have to select here all other user group we have to select here full access 
and click on OK. Okay. Now click on Apply. Now we have to select here SSL VPN portal. Okay, you can see SSL VPN portal. Just click on it and then double click on now friends select here full access now click on edit okay so now friends you can see we have a full access tunnel okay portal by default created it okay so now you can see tunnel mode so friends when we enable tunnel mode if you disable tunnel mode all client traffic will be directed over the SSL VPN tunnel so friends when this user will be connected with SSL VPN so all its traffic internet traffic all traffic will be passes through our firewall okay so our firewall so it's not recommended suppose this user trying to access internet so it should go through internet okay so it should not go through our firewall it direct go to internet okay here if this user only access this network okay if this user only access this network then should be passes through our firewall okay so here you can see enable based on policy destination so we can define policy based on policy it will be enable which traffic should be passes through firewall okay so now here you can select we have to select here routing address override we have to select our DMZ network okay DMZ 20.1.1 and source IP pool will be SSL VPN here okay 10.212 okay so let me show you again how to define this select here and select this one okay so this pool will be assigned to our client PC when it will connect to SSL VPN okay now tunnel mode client option allow client to save password you can select here so friends you can see BAM mode so friends we can connect to SSL VPN with two mode BAM mode or 40 client mode so we will see BAM mode we can connect through browser okay client mode we can connect with 40 client okay so now here we can select here 40 client download directed okay now click on okay so we have configured SSL VPN here okay on 40 gate firewall now friends we have to create policy here okay so you can see SSL VPN setting so no SSL VPN policy exist click to create new policy using this setting okay so let me show you how to create policy you can click here or we can click to security profile policy and object we can create policy from here create so friends we can create from here just click here so you can see automatic it's assigned this interface tunnel interface here so name policy name will be SSL VPN SSL VPN in okay so when traffic coming through outside to inside okay so outgoing interface will be so friends you can see incoming interface our SSL VPN tunnel interface and outgoing interface our DMZ okay DMZ port and source will be source our SSL VPN tunnel address 10.212.134 which will be assigned to our so we can select this address okay this address assigned to our remote PC when it will connect to SSL VPN now also we have to select here our user okay click on user and we have to select user group SSL VPN users okay now in destination destination we have to select our DMZ address 20.1.0 okay DMZ address now service will be all now we can accept here now no net will be there for destination traffic coming from outside okay so now we have to enable this policy here now click on ok so we have created this policy now click on apply now friends what we can do we have now friends go to policy and object firewall policy now friends we have created policy and all VPN settings okay now we have to go to our PC and connect with 
40 client so you can see I have installed 40 client here just click on it so friends so you can see 40 client now click on configure VPN so we have to select SSL VPN here provide here VPN name SSL VPN it's uh, just a connection name okay description not recommended remote gateway IP address one dot sorry 192.168.1.101 so customized port is 10443 okay now client certificate known so save login or username so username is technet okay now we, have, we can click on save so you can see technet now we have to provide password now click on connect okay unable to establish VPN connection the VPN server may be unreachable so it's not getting connect here so friend let me check from browser so friends uh, I have already discussed you we have two mode to connect here 40 client and web mode okay so we can connect with web mode let me go to here like HTTPS 192.168.1.101 colon 10994.10443 okay just connect here so now click on advance now click on accept so now you can see we have login portal here Tagnet and password will be provide password now look, click on login permission denied okay one minute Tagnet and password so now friends you can see we have logged in in web mode okay you can see web mode we have logged in here with my user now friends you can see we have connected with SSL VPN portal here okay now friends what we can do we now we can try to access from this PC try to access this network this network this router okay let's try to access so let me click on quick connection here so you can see 20.1.1.10 okay from here we can access our like SSH just we can click on SSH okay now we have to provide our router IP address here 20 dot 20 dot 1 dot 1 dot 10 now click on launch so you can see now it's asking for password here Cisco so now provide password Cisco enable Cisco so friends you can see we are able to access this router from this PC so my SSL VPN is working fine we are friends okay so now what we can do so now we can exit from here exit so close window now we can also create here uh, let me ping here let's check ping 20.1.1.10 so you can see is it reachable okay so from 40 client I'm not able to connect because so you can see friends it's a evaluation license that's why it's showing some issue okay to connect with 40 client okay so friends in this video we have seen how to configure SSL VPN in FortiGate firewall so friends thanks for watching this video have a nice day